Hi, my name is Becky Colling, and I'm a Google for Education certified trainer. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a video using Zoom. To start, you're going to sign into your Zoom account, and then you're going to select New Meeting. You do not need to invite anybody else to this meeting if you're creating the video for kids or for uh, other educators. So I'm just going to select New Meeting. And you're going to notice it's going to ask if you want to join with computer audio. You would normally hit, yes, you do. I'm not going to today because I'm already recording a video. Also, you would start your video uh, if it doesn't automatically start by selecting this button and getting rid of the red line. It won't let me because I have another video running to create this session for you. But otherwise, you would just cl click that button and you would see your face right here. There's a couple of different ways to record. If you want to record just yourself talking to your students, you would come down here, select more and hit record on this computer. Notice I don't have audio on, so it's telling me I really need to start my audio. I'm going to select continue without audio um, and, and that's totally fine for this session. But normally it, it is a nice reminder to let you know to turn your audio on. You can also pause your video at any time by selecting this button up here. And what's really nice, I could start by talking to students and then I could choose to share my screen. And notice it gives me quite a few different options for screen sharing. I'm going to choose to share my entire screen, screen one, and I'll move this and hit share. And now my students are going to be able to see everything on here. But remember, I paused that video, so I need to come back here in the more button. So it's at the very top, more, resume recording. Now I could keep recording and I could talk about what's on my screen. I can even open up additional resources and my students would be able to see those resources as I'm talking about them. Once I'm finished recording my video, I'm going to come back up here to more and I'm going to say stop recording. I can also stop sharing my screen. Oops, let's come here and hit stop share. Now I'm back at the main screen that I showed you at the very beginning. When I'm ready for my video to load, I hit end and meeting for all, even though I'm the only one in here. And it's going to convert my meeting recording. In other words, it's going to uh, convert it into a video for you. Now I can save this video to my desktop. I can share it with my students. Uh, how you choose to share that video is totally up to you, but I now have access to my video by clicking on this very bottom one. I can also rename it by right clicking on it and hitting rename. So this might be a math lesson one. And I could save all of these into a shared drive. I could put them somewhere so that I don't lose them and my students have access. Thank you all so much for joining and I will see you soon.